So one of the more common odd questions that I get from folks is what do I do with that length of MIG wire that's left over when I change the spool in the machine? So you know if your machine has on average a six to nine foot gun, you've got a whole six to nine foot length of perfectly good MIG wire. And after eight years of welding, I have finally inadvertently stumbled up on what I consider to be the first, you know, actual legitimate use for this that a person might have. And, and what you do with this stuff, or what I've started doing with this stuff personally, is you take one of these, this is a pair of safety wire pliers, I'll show you how it works in a minute, I know it's kind of funky looking, and um, what you do is you use it to wrap or tie stuff up with, with wire a lot like the way you would with, uh, with a zip tie or something. This spring, what we're doing with this is it's going to uh, put pressure against a couple of plates in order to actuate a little door that I'm making for one of my projects. And so what we need is this spring to be under compression when we install it and then we'll cut this wire and release the tension. So all we do is we get this going and this is one of a bazillion and 12 uses. And uh, we come in here, use these pliers. I'll just make sure the pliers are grabbing on both sides. Then we use this lever to lock the pliers closed. And this is the really cool part, when I pull on this knob here, that wire tying action. Ah! All right, yeah, so we snap the end. And like I said, you guys, the possibilities for what you can use these for are pretty much endless. And uh, let's see, now I'm gonna release this tension here just a little bit. And so now we're gonna tie this top section together pretty much repeat the same exact thing here. Yeah, you know, I've, I've used this stuff to tie up wires, I've used it to hold all sorts of random things, and it works great. Now this isn't actual proper safety wire, these are safety wire pliers, this is of course big wire. If you're gonna be using something like this inside of an engine or something, it's really best to get proper lock wire. You can buy this stuff, it's American made Marlin Company stainless steel lock wire. This whole can was like 14 bucks or something. But just as a matter of actually being able to do, we'll cut the little MIG welding blurb off the end of that. Just as a matter of actually being able to do something with your MIG wire scraps, this is honestly, after all these years, the best possible use that I have seen or come up with personally for this stuff. Again, we just run our wire through wherever we want it to go. Snip it. Unlike, uh, you know, electrical pliers, these are perfectly suited for cutting steel wire. You won't dull the blade. I mean, they're, they're made for that. All we do is we lock this. Help these pliers get going here. There, just like that, this wire will help to hold this spring closed when we put some tension on it. Good, now we can install it mostly compressed. We'll snip these wires and, uh, and it'll, it'll work. So, these pliers, these are actually some really old school military surplus ones. You can buy these on eBay. For the most part, they're fine. This part is supposed to be spring loaded to go back up in here. As you can see, mine either isn't or the spring is broken. But if you're interested in doing something like this, you can go on eBay, try your hand with some old military surplus pliers like these, or there's a lot of really, really good quality, highly rated reproductions out there on Amazon. I'll put some links in the description. As a friendly reminder, if you do buy anything on there, it doesn't cost you a penny more, but uh, the channel makes a small commission off that if you buy it after clicking one of the links in the uh, description. So, like I said, it took me years, but I finally figured out what to do with this stuff. It's not really a monetary thing, more if I have it and I don't want to waste it thing. So, thanks for watching guys.